This isn't some remote rainforest island. I am indoors in a water park. This is the largest uninterrupted indoor space in the world. There are a few bigger spaces, but they've all got support pillars holding them up. This is just one big roof. In terms of volume, this is bigger than NASA's vehicle assembly building. You could fit the entire Houses of Parliament in here twice and still have room for some more water slides. Along with the slides and some cabins you can rent overnight, there is a tethered balloon that will take you up to the rafters or it will take six passengers and go for a fly around inside. Those panels up there, they're transparent to UV light so that trees grow here, which means that you can get sunburned indoors. But in winter, this place stays at tropical temperatures. The amount of heating, cooling, water recirculation required is it's ridiculous. There is no way that a company could ever afford to build something like this. It would cost far too much. They would never be able to charge enough for admission to ever make that back. And yet, here I am. Which brings me to my main question. What do you do with a disused airship hangar? That's not just a theoretical question, that's what this is. And actually it wasn't so much disused as never used. This whole structure was built on an old German airfield at the turn of the millennium during the dot-com bubble. It was designed to hold an enormous cargo-carrying airship that was never built because the company went bankrupt a year later as the economy crashed. The investors lost most of their money. It cost 78 million euro to build this thing. It's safe to say they never got most of that back. A company from Malaysia bought the hangar at a knockdown price, a price that could, in theory, be made back over many years if you, say, spruced the place up a bit and charged admission, maybe added a few water slides. And the result is, bizarrely, the world's largest indoor water park and a fluke of our weird 21st century economy. <laughs>